hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well today's video you guys is going to be another sephora haul yes i did it you guys even after the last video i told you guys i didn't need anything else from sephora and i was right i didn't need anything from sephora you guys but did I get it? Of course I did. I placed a whole nother order. I even went to a Sephora event inside my local store and got a couple things from that. So I will share with you the aftermath, you guys, <laughs> which is another Sephora haul from online and in store again because the makeup enthusiast in me will not let me stop y'all so i'm gonna just stop telling myself these lies because it don't work it's not working for me y'all but anyway today we're gonna get into another haul but before we get into that you know the drill let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested so you guys starting with my face today this has been my holy grail foundation y'all you see it every time i do a video it's my house labs foundation this is my empty so this is going in my empties pile because it is totally gone and if i do an empties video you are gonna see this in there so I opened up my new one that I got and unboxed with you on my part one Sephora haul because this one is now going to be part two. So I started using this one today and you guys, y'all already know how much I love it. I shouldn't even have to tell you this, the foundation I have on. And y'all, I have a lot of foundations in my collection but i'm always grabbing for this one just because of the beautiful glow it gives me it feels so light it gives you a nice light medium coverage doesn't feel cakey anything like that y'all if you want to try out a good foundation i'll say it again pick up you one from house labs you won't regret it so that is what I have on my face today in the shade 330 Medium Cool. Next, y'all, let's talk about these eyes. Another item I shared with you in my first Sephora haul was this eyeshadow from Merit. And this is in the shade Viper. It's this beautiful army green shade and I put this over my entire lid and then I went in with my Dior green palette from one of their holiday collections and and I swept a little bit of this emerald green on my lids as well. Then I went in with this golden tan color in my tear duct area. Then, y'all, I didn't stop there. I could have, but I didn't because I wanted to play around with this new Chanel eyeshadow I got in Jade Facet number 222. And if you saw my Chanel unboxing, you would have saw this. And y'all, can I tell y'all, I'm so pleased with their new formulations of their eyeshadows. I swatched a lot of them in store. If you saw that video, I'm definitely going to get more of these. So I took this metallic green shade here and put it right in the center of my lid. And y'all, it's beautiful. I can't wait to just use this one alone because it was so pigmented. I'm sure like in the pan, it doesn't look that way. But y'all, when you put it on your eyes, it is beautiful. And y'all know, 
your girl loves rocking some green because that's my favorite color and next up another item from that sale that I purchased was one of the Sephora eyeliners and this one is in the shade matte olive you guys on the next sephora haul i will be getting some more of these eyeliners because they go on so smooth y'all i was sleeping on the sephora brand for real these eyeliners are the business so i am definitely going to get me some more of these shades so i have this olive color right here in my waterline you guys and a little bit underneath my eye and so next y'all on my cheeks I have another product that I just recently purchased from Chanel and it's from their La Beige's collection this is their healthy glow sun kiss powder in medium coral you guys this is another one now the only thing about this one y'all when i first went in i went heavy and i had to tone it down because these powders are pigmented so i picked up the lightest one in this collection and it still was a little bit deep but again i had to tone it down so i just swirled my brush all over the product and bronzed up my face then I took another brush and just went straight into the highlighter and highlighted my cheekbones and my nose. Then I took my Sonia G cheek brush and I went straight into this coral shade right here. And I put that right on the apples of my cheeks. So this is what I used on my face today and it gave me this nice bronzy glow. I am definitely going to put it in my travel bag and I'll have my highlighter, my bronzer, and my blush all in one component. So that was the purpose of me buying this and I'm quite happy with it. It is pigmented so you do have to knock off some of the excess of the powder so i am so pleased with chanel's new products they've been reformulating i know they have a new team behind them and so far y'all so good so love this and so next as my lip combo today you guys i just have my other favorite you hear here all the time and it's my perfect lip liner from morphe and this is in the shade sweet tea you've seen it a lot so i have this lining my lips and then i went in with this shimmery beautiful lip gloss from jesu that i share with you in the first sephora haul so this is that beautiful shimmery pink here this one has a light watermelon scent but it is so nice and hydrating on the lips y'all and it gives you that perfect little shimmer hopefully you can see that you guys so that is what i have on my lips today as for my earrings i have my louis vuitton louise earrings in the gold i have on my louis vuitton bracelet here and I think this is called the Fasten Me Bracelet, if I'm not mistaken. I have on my pendant from Nordstrom's. They always have these on sale during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which will be coming up soon. So, yeah, if you're interested in one of these, I say get it during the sale because they're really, really, they're inexpensive anyway, but they're really inexpensive during the sale. Um, I think they're like less than $20 or maybe $20 if they haven't gone up. But I remember getting mines back in the day for like 18 bucks. And then I just have on this canary yellow t-shirt from Burberry. As for my bag today, I finally gave my Louis Vuitton double zip pochette a break because I was using that like crazy. So the one I'm using today is another Louis Vuitton, but this is my Speedy Nano. 
and this is the new model here that comes with the removable and adjustable strap and as you see this is in the monogram print then I added on to this it doesn't come with the bag my Louis Vuitton luggage tag in the monogram print as well and so yeah that's all of my things in there and this is what I've been rocking you guys and y'all I want to ask y'all something way back in the day I used to buy a lot of Louis Vuitton in monogram and then I sold all of it off and started buying Damier a bin because I didn't like the fascetta. And I didn't care for it when either it will get water spots or stains on it from dropping something on it. Or it will get really patina from your oils on your hands, that sort of thing. So for me, I didn't care for that look and that's why I got rid of it and bought Damier a bin. Then I slowly started buying some pieces back and spraying it with the Apple Guard and that had been working um, for slowing down that process because I do love the monogram print. So like when I was in Aruba and I purchased my belt bag from Louis Vuitton. I sprayed that all down and it still looks really good. It's actually, let me grab it. It's actually right behind me right here. And I wear this a lot too. And it does have some patina, but I don't have to worry about water spots. Now, what I wanna ask you if you guys noticed about this bag. This bag, came already pre-treated so yes i did spray it one time but since i got it i haven't sprayed it anymore and y'all i use this bag i haven't seen any spots on it it hasn't patinaed it just stayed at this pre-treated color which is a little darker so it didn't come with that raw raw light leather that is not pre-treated and y'all i'm thinking if this is already pre-treated maybe it won't get any of the marks and stuff on the ones that are already pre-treated because i haven't gotten any on this one and you guys look at that look at the handles nothing on this bag at all so i'm wondering if because this came pre-treated none of that process will happen comment down below you guys if you know because if that's the case y'all i might be looking for some more bags that's just already pre-treated from louis vuitton and i'm sorry i went into that rant but i had to ask you guys about this because maybe one of you guys out there know if you do please comment down below i want to know you guys but anyway long story short this is the bag i'm rocking today see what happens when i don't talk to y'all for so long that probably could have been a whole video oh and before i wrap this up let me tell you the fragrance i'm wearing today i almost forgot that one y'all a louis vuitton so i purchased this one for my birthday in march so this is the louis vuitton pacific chill so I wanted to add this in my collection as another spring summer fragrance. So I picked this one up because I love mandarin in a fragrance. You can smell the lemon in here. You can smell mandarin in here and it dries down really, really nice. So that is what I'm wearing today. And so now y'all, we're gonna get into the Sephora haul. So first we'll start with this box I have here and then we'll end with the bag from the store. Okay y'all, so let's get into it. Now, my first item I have, I've already been wearing this one and it came in this box right here. So it is the Fleur Fragrance in Mood Ring. 
Y'all, when I tell you, if you want something sweet, get this. It is so good, y'all. I have been wearing it alone. I have been mixing it with that Pacific Chill because that's more of a citrusy note to just pop in a sweet note in it as well. And so far, y'all, what I've been loving about the Fleur fragrances is that you can just mix and mingle them with any and everything, y'all. And it just gives it something different. This one right here, y'all, is so sweet and yummy. And when it dries down, you get a little musky or spicy note in there, y'all. It's good. So, I picked this one up because I went in to exchange the other one that I got that I really liked that was called Not Your Baby. But when I was wearing it and trying it out, I was like, this is something I already have. And what I figured out, you guys, that fragrance was very similar to my Tom Ford fragrance right here with that baby like powder scent in it. So, you know, I'm not big on a baby powder scent, so I went to exchange it and end up trying out some more and that's when I fell in love with this mood ring so glad I got that and so this next fragrance y'all after the sale had started for everyone on the 9th I was hearing so much about this fragrance I read the reviews I went online to order it all they had available was the travel size and I said okay that's good I'll get the travel size since I haven't smelled this fragrance and then if I like it I'll buy the full size before the sale ends and it's the Kaoli lychee fragrance which here is the little travel size bottle that I bought on the 9th online so I was hoping that I would get this order before the sale end so I can figure out if I like this fragrance or not because when I initially went in the store y'all the fragrance was all gone I couldn't spray it on myself I can smell a little bit of the rim of the fragrance but that's it so I finally got this fragrance right before the sale was about to end and y'all I loved it so I was just like okay now I want the hundred milliliter bottle well y'all I looked online everywhere everywhere and it was sold out both sizes even the three point whatever ounce so the 1.7 ounce that I was looking for was sold out and also the really, really large one, three point whatever ounces. They were all sold out online, y'all. So I said, okay, let me check my local stores. I knew that wasn't gonna work because when I went in there on the first day of the sale, they didn't have it. But I was hoping maybe they got some in, y'all. They were sold out everywhere around me. Then, the last day of the sale, I was like, let me try again. Let me call my local store that gets a lot of inventory to see if they got it in. Because they did tell me that first time I was in there, they would restock. So, I got a nice lady on the phone. And she was like, no, it's not in stock. We're sold out in all of them, unfortunately. And that was the last day of the sale, y'all. And I really wanted to get 20% off. And then the lady was like, if you really want that fragrance, though, I have another solution for you. So when she said that, y'all, I was all ears on the phone. She said, we have the Sephora Favorite Sampler set in stock she said if you buy that sampler set you'll actually get that fragrance you want for cheaper and i was just like what 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 do you mean y'all 
my next purchase was this sampler set right here. It comes with six samples that you get inside this pouch for $85 minus my 20% discount put it at around $68. You could redeem any one of these fragrances for a full size bottle which if you can see right there that Kaoli lychee the 1.7 ounce bottle that I wanted for a hundred dollars was in here y'all when that lady told me that i thought she was playing with me so while i was on the phone with her she was like we have some right here at this store and the problem with that was it was late in the evening and they were about to close the last day of the sale and i wouldn't have been able to get this she said place your order online right now for a store pickup and then you'll be able to get that full size bottle at a discount. So it was there y'all. I put my local store in and pulled up this set, put it in my cart and it was ready for pickup y'all. So <laughs> it came in this nice little pouch and y'all, I already redeemed it. I'm going to tell you that right now. I already redeemed it. I have my Kayali fragrance right here because the day after the sale, I went in there to pick this up as a pickup. And y'all, they had the fragrance in. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I was. So in here, I still have all of those six fragrances. There's that Kayali one, and I have some more to put in my travel bag. Here is the little gift certificate that I used already to redeem the full-size bottle in the store. Bam! Here's my full-size bottle. I haven't even opened it yet. But, y'all, it smells so good. Let's open it, because she ain't going back. I'm sorry that was a long story, but I had to tell y'all that. And hopefully I won't have no more long stories. I can fly through the rest of this video. But here is the 1.7 ounce big girl here. And then I got the little tiny, tiny baby that I'm going to put in my travel bag too. Y'all, I was so glad when that lady told me about that sample of set because I didn't know anything about that. Then they have some other fragrances like that Glossier fragrance I like. They have Valentino. Y'all, I ain't know about this. And I got this fragrance, this full size bottle here. Because I bought this for $68, I got this $100 bottle here for free. I loved it, y'all. I'm going to start looking for these Sephora favorite samplers from here on out because I saved with that. The next set I picked up was from Josie Marin. And I wanted this little bundle set here to try out. I've never tried this brand. And I've heard great things about their body butters. So this is a trio little set here that comes with three of the body butters in this little cute little pouch that I can reuse. And it has a little tiny sample here, but we have three of the travel size body butters. So we have one in Vanilla Vibe, Bohemian Fig, and Topless Tangerine. Whoa. Okay. I'm getting vacation vibes already. So here is the three here that came in that set along with this little tiny topless tangerine one. So I thought this was a great deal. So I'm excited to try this out. Then the next item I picked up in my first haul, I showed you the cream of this 
in a travel size that I picked up from Sol de Janeiro, the number 59. I love that cream and I realized when I did that haul, I didn't pick up the matching spray. So I picked that up, so that's that. Another fragrance I wanted to try out is the Killian fragrance in apple brandy on the rocks. Now I have the regular Killian fragrance in um, from this liquor line and the, oh gosh, why am I drawing a blank? I can't even think of the fragrance I got and I love that fragrance. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen because I can't think of it, but I have it in the full size. It's my thing. Angel Shares. There we go. Start working, brain. But anyway, <laughs> I wanted to try this one, so I got a little travel spray of that apple brandy on the rocks to try out. So I got that here. So we'll see how that goes. Then next, another item I want to tell y'all about that was 50% off when I went into the Sephora store. And I have this in the setting spray, but I wanted to try this since it was 50% off. It's the one size go off spray. So this is like that pink setting spray that I have but it's to take the makeup off and again they had it for 50% off and y'all I've already used it loved it and what I like about this one you know how the pink one that's the setting spray when you spray it y'all y'all gotta hold your breath it locks in everything I'm gonna tell you that but when you spray you gotta hold your breath because it's like you're spraying uh, aerosol all over your face so I don't like that about it but I love that it keeps the makeup on even if you're like out in the beach it locks it in the water splash it ain't gonna come off that type of thing so I still would use that one it's in my travel bag but this one y'all I love because although it has that same tip it doesn't have that aerosol feel it's a spray but it's uh, maybe it's because the oil it just sprays out a mist spray instead of that harsh aerosol spray like the other one so I love that about this one and it gets all your makeup off y'all I didn't try it love it so I'm glad I got that for 50% off it was on sale and the next item I picked up was one of my favorite items by Laneige. They had a four piece set here of the minis. This is the Dreamy Kit. And all of these are the little small ones and you get four. So we have a peach one, we have a mango one, we have a sweet candy, is that pink and then we have the berry so we have four of these also I picked up another kit of the Laneige that I saw that was in the store and I think they had this one for Valentine's Day or something like that but it has the tube here and another one of those little minis but I wanted this little mini one because it was chocolate and it was tinted y'all and this kit came this chocolate one and then this two like one that's perfect for your purse but y'all i really really wanted this chocolate one because they say it has a tint and I'm so eager to try this out, y'all. Let me just open this. Because I want to try this out, y'all. And see if it gives me a little tint. Okay. Here's a little brush that comes with it. Got a little bit on there now, y'all. I'm going to have to use it. Oh! <laughs> yes! 
Did you see that nude on my lips? I'm gonna have to do the rest now for the rest of the video. Mmm. And it smells like chocolate. Mmm. I like that. Yes. I hope I evened it out. If not, I'm gonna look crazy the rest of the video. But yeah, that's what I got. Mmm, that smells good too. So, and it's a light chocolate smell. Mmm, mmm. I like that. Okay, so I got that one. Then, another lippy. The TikTok girls had me on this one, y'all. I said, let me go in there and pick this up. It was the Tropicals right here, Balm. And it's um in mint. This is a mint lip balm. And you know I love mint, so that's not going to bother me. And this is what it looks like right here. I'm sorry, y'all, if the lighting is going in and out. Hopefully, you can see these things. Because, you know, I film in natural light right by this window. But, anywho, I picked this one up to try out. So, I'm glad I have that. Then, y'all, I saw online they had um, the Guerlain online and i already had one of these but i wanted another shade because when i say y'all this lip oil is good and y'all know i love anything for the lips but i have one of these already and i saw that sephora had put these online and so you know i picked it up y'all so i can get 20 percent off and this one is in the shade 309 honey glow the other one I had is the pink one. And so this one, you guys, I have to tell you, I love these better than the Dior lip oils. You see, they are very similar with the applicator, everything. The oil is thick. So if you don't like a thick oil, this is not going to be for you, but it's definitely for me, y'all. It feels so good on the lips. I wish I could just try on all of these lip products. I got to come back, y'all, because this is good, good. So, I got 20% off another one of these. I got me a couple samples. You know, I have Way. I love this, you guys, Amika. This stuff right here I put in my hair. I'm a natural girl. It's so good. So here go another sample at the end of the box from Armani. And another one from Valentino. That's it for the samples, I think, until I get to my bag from, you know, the store event. Okay, so two more products from this box. Another one, y'all. The TikTok girls got me on this one. So I wanted to try this Huda Beauty Faux Filter Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade Sugar Baby. Y'all, I want to try this one on too. Look at it. This is this beautiful pink. I can't wait to try it, y'all. I can't wait. I almost want to take this off and put on that pink. Okay, I'm doing too much. I got to get through this video. But yeah, this is the Faux Filler Lip Gloss from Huda Beauty. So I'm excited y'all to try this one too so the next thing i picked up y'all was a blush which i got in the shade love and this is the rare beauty soft pinch luminous powder blush there it is right there in the shade love so this you know my typical shade is like that um coral orangey shade this one was a little bit deeper when I saw it, but it had a nice sheen. Y'all, look at that. Oh my gosh. I almost want to put this on too. Let me show you on my hand. Oh, look how bright that is, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. So I picked that up in love, y'all soft pinch brush you know i love rare beauty i swear by her highlighter her blushes y'all i love rare beauty 
So finally, y'all, we get to the end of this haul with this little bag here from a store event that Sephora had at my local store. And YSL was there, y'all. So I wanted to go to the event. Unfortunately for me that day, I was in pain and I wasn't feeling good. My scoliosis, y'all, was on another level. So, I couldn't stay long. But, I'm going to share with you the items I picked up, plus the goodies that they gave me. So, mainly, they were promoting their new lippies, you guys. So, I picked up the YSL Love Shine Candy Glow. This one is in the shade number 18, right here. And then also, during the event, they were engraving your lipsticks. But when I tell y'all, I couldn't wait in that line because I was on fire. Y'all, my back was on fire. I couldn't wait in that line. My legs was tingling. I had to get out of there. So, I just took my little lippy and my little treats and I left. So, if you can see, this one is in that nice pink packaging here. And here is what that lip balm looks like. And I'm all for these YSL lip balms. I love them. I could have, again, got it engraved. But, again, I couldn't do it that day. The pain was on 10. And so, I wasn't really pressed for it. Because I have YSL lippies that I've had engraved. But, I'll show you what it looks like. So, here is one of my old ones. You can see this is in a very old gold packaging. And, it has my name right there. If you ever want this done, you don't have to go to a store event. YSL does this online for you. So, you can get that done online. And, this is where I got this one done years ago so but that's what they were doing um, at the event um, they were promoting their lippies and engraving them and telling you about fragrance and all that stuff and they had everything out that you could try all of that the next thing I picked up was another lippy and in my first haul I end up after I felt better going back to the Sephora on another day um, and returning that first one that I bought because at the event that I was at, they had this set, which was almost the same price with the discount. It was just a little bit more, but it had an extra candy lip balm in there, which y'all know I love this pink one. And then it had that very first shade, number 15, that I purchased. So it's like getting two in one and get my 20% off of that. Y'all, so I got this one and took back the other one and only paid a couple dollars more and I got an extra one So I got me a backup girl. You got to make it make sense for you. You got to make it work Huh? All this makeup I'll be buying but here is what it is. I haven't even opened it yet So there's both colors right there here is that original pink that you've seen on this channel before that I love that is part of that candy glaze um you know they put the numbers on here but I'll link it don't worry and then that was that number 15 that I had picked up so again I got a two-in-one deal that came in this nice little box at the event so that's all I picked up there okay and then they gave out some freebies. So they gave me a couple of their glow bomb samples here. Along with a YSL Libre fragrance sample. And then one of my favorite fragrance samples. The Black Opium. They gave me, I love that coffee smell and that scent. Then they gave me two samples 
of their mascara. And let's see. Yes, it looks like this. So I got two mascara samples. There's another fragrance in here. And this is a YSL Myself fragrance, which I haven't tried this out. So I'll give that a shot. That was in there. And then they gave me a little tiny lipstick sample. And that is the lipstick. So these are the new ones that they were promoting. And it's too tiny. I can't see the shade on that. Next, they gave me this little YSL beauty pouch for coming to the little event. And... Oh, it has a little mirror in there. And that's it. But look at that. That's just like the little salt little packets. But it has a little mirror so you can put on your little lipstick. So that was cute. So I got that little pouch. In the shape of this beautiful heart. And then lastly, they gave me some sweet treats which I have this little YSL little bag of treats here. And if you can see, they are shaped in the shape of a lip. And they're cute little candies. So that's what I got from the event. That was the aftermath of my Sephora haul. So this is going to be part two from the first one. And so now, y'all, I'm going to clean up all this mess and put it away i'm gonna link some videos at the end here i'll link the first sephora haul just in case you hadn't seen that one and any of my latest videos and i would hope that you would join my beautiful butterfly community here by hitting that subscribe button down below and as always, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.